Hello, I'm Daniel Swirl, and today I'll show you how to make a bottle cap pin. I made this one out of a Coca-Cola uh, bottle cap, an old vintage one, like this, Echo in Mexico, with real sugar, and uh, so it's very simple to make, looks cool, and I hope you'll enjoy. Now, keep in mind that I only have six minutes of memory left, six minutes worth of memory left on my camera. So let's get started real quick. Alright, so you notice when you try to open a bottle cap, or a, no, when you try to open a bottle, and you'll dent the bottle cap, like, really bad, if you use a normal bottle cap opener. I don't know my, how my parents managed to do this, but, uh, with the circular dent. What you do is you take anything metallic, I use this metal sharpener, and a big hammer, any size hammer will do, and you just tap it out. I know the camera is shaking, so I'll do you a favor and I'll try to dampen it as much as I can, not to nauseate you guys. See, there you go. Alright. Nope, camera's still shaking. Alright. So now that I've shaken the camera, <laughs> uh, fix it, and there you go, I've undented it. You'll see it's a little smoother now. Alright, so once you do that, you get your pin, safety pin. I use safety pins because they're better than those little clamp things that you could put on a shirt. Because what if you don't have pockets? It's a legitimate problem. Alright, so you line it up with two grooves or whatever. I like to line it up with the grooves on the sides of the bottle cap and then you mark those grooves and you cut one tiny slit on it not too deep not too shallow so that it won't fit alright so now that you've cut that you can line it up and see what you were planning to do the other side and then you cut that alright then you cut around it just a bit. You heard that clicking noise? I think I've cut enough already. Just enough, just a tiny amount to give it enough space to fit that thin pin inside. So I'll test it out for a second. Yeah, that should be good. All right, and then you get the other side and you do the same. you just cut a thin sliver and this is why I like to use the needle nose pliers they can grab the little strips of metal that you will create you can just get rid of them easy the key to doing this well to make your bottle cap look nice is to get those holes those slits as small as possible at the bottom at the nearest the face of the cap so then you open them up a bit more and you move this up. Right? So you see you've made two holes. See if you can see the pink of my finger through there. I don't think so. My camera isn't good enough to see it. There's a slit right there and a slit right there. And you take the cap, the uh, the pin, and you put it into those grooves. You might have to like push it or force it, or you just widen up the the, sl the slits a little bit more, the little slits that you cut into the bottle cap. So you widen, and then, using the pliers, and then you grab your pin and you snap it into place. Usually if you've done it right, this part, I don't know why, it seems to be common because I did it, I've done this video this is the third time doing this video because the second time I ran out of time that's why I'm trying to go a little bit faster I ran out of battery and I had to delete the video memory I mean alright so once you snapped it into place it should be a little solid and now you could just start to bend it back over the uh, over the bobby pin see if you do it right it'll come out very nice like it'll completely surround the the, uh, the pin and it will just look n like it's naturally coming out of the cap 
very smooth. Bend this side back. I'd like to take a moment to note that this is sturdy because it's made of metal and you could always fix it. If you do this with like hot glue or like I did once with solder, the solder usually doesn't bond too well with the cap the because it's painted and lacquered. They've got all sorts of paint on it and there's not real metal exposed unless you sand it and that's a lot of work. So I would rather just do this yeah, to make it my uh, make a pin. All right. So once you've done that, you're pretty much done. Just bend the pin back, and close it. Now, depending on how far you cut into it, into the cap, how far down, up or down you've cut into it, this will either stick out a lot like this uh, coca-cola cap if you notice this pins much bigger <laughs> I couldn't find a pin of the same size after I did this one so it'll either stick up above it like this coca-cola pin or it'll be just right below it or it could even be hidden if you find a pin big enough but that's pretty much it thanks for watching